Tudor Games and Electric Football presents Playbook Illustrated with your host, Coach Kenshin. All right, coaches, let's get started. Offense is the method used to test a defense. Scoring indicates how well they're doing. The pro-style offense the West Coast offense, the pistol offense, and the spread offense. All of these offenses were difficult in electric football until now. Based on advanced gameplay, you can deploy many of these plays. We'll cover the positions, zones, offensive levels, and the advantages and disadvantages you make in each setup. Once you set up offensive line play, backfield movement, and receiver routes, you can get to create your own plays, just like a coach in the NFL. Running back, flanker, H-back, wide receiver, let's keep this football simple when talking about position, shall we? Lineman is the cornerstone to a team's success. Lineman line up directly on the line of scrimmage. The line blocking schemes to protect and open holes for the runner and on some occasions by the ends run pass routes. On the subject of ends, the difference is their placement. Here is a tight end and here is a split end. Backs run, throw, and catch the ball to achieve the objective of carrying the ball to the opponent's goal line. All backs are behind the linemen and are called many names depending on the type of offense used and who they are. A flanker is a back outside the ends, used primarily to catch passes, but can be used to seal runs to the outside. For future understanding only, Backs, ends, and flankers can catch passes. Interior linemen cannot. The four important lines or zones in electric football for the offense are the line of scrimmage, the vertical plane indicated by the spot of the ball measured by the distance from the nearest goal line, the offensive zone, an area rearward 20 yards from the line of scrimmage and extends to each sideline where no offensive players can go beyond. The backfield area, where direct handoffs are made and the pocket is established. And the pitch area, where near backwards passes are completed. Attacking the defense is the same as it is in football, and each has its own properties. The setup phase is the phase where the players are put into a proper legal formation. Set setup should not give away run locations or intentions. The audible phase sets up the potential plan of attack. Motion, shifts, pivots, dial rotating, or change of quarterback preps Pivot. the offense for attack Pivot. prior to the snap. You are limited to two, and time may be of the essence. The snap runs the coach's chosen play. If running a direct handoff run play, the play is run until the end of the play. If the coaches chooses a play that has a two-part component, pass, pitches, and scrambles, it runs until you're ready to take action. Snap time develops blocking and or route running. The action is where the play as intended is created. For plays that have a two-part component, the offense, after reading the plan blocking or reacting to what the defense left open, Pitches the ball and the new action figure is the receiver or passes and pivots the new receiver to the desired direction or 
keeps by scrambling before the initial snap receiver reaches the line of scrimmage. Then run the play. The plays run by the offense expect to gain a certain number of yards or attack levels. Divided into three levels, each has its advantages and disadvantages. Close line plays are one to five yards for the purposes of short yardage. On runs, walls and holes are built for the runner. On passes, ball control and high completion percentage rates. Attacking in this area, advantages are little turnover possibilities. But attacking in this area disadvantages causes early exposure of the play. Breakdowns could produce loss in the yardage. Mid-area plays are 6 to 15 yards downfield for the purposes of extending the field vertically and laterally. On runs, the runner usually gets to the outside to gain yardage. On passes, the receiver gets behind the close line support before the secondary can assist. Attacking in this area keeps the defense guessing and gains consistently move the chains. Attacking in this area disadvantages are longer blocking development, additional snap time, and more defenders in the zone for coverages. Deep plays are for 16 yards and beyond and for the purpose of large chunks of yardage. On runs, in the rare instances of defensive breakdowns, your runner could go the distance. On passes, when you get behind and or exploit gaps in coverages, the pass could lead to a score. Attacking in this area advantages produces a quick attack for a touchdown. Attacking in this area disadvantages entail a lower completion rate and requires protection of the passer. Expert rules allow for the running of plays without intent given to the defense. With this offensive understanding, go out and attack and know why. Playbook Illustrated is brought to you by Tudor Games and the friends of the Miniature Football Coaches Association. Meet one of them at www.electricfootball.com. All right, coaches, that's a wrap.